Imagine being able to feel and uh, touch uh, things from within the metaverse, experiencing friend and relationships on a whole new level and getting to interact with the world around you in a more immersive way. If that sounds like your jam, then this video is going to blow your mind. Hey, what's up everyone? So I just got back from Gamescom where I checked out the world's first consumer ready haptic gloves that you can use with the Quest, the Pico and other mixed reality headsets. It's being made by uh, B Haptics who uh, we know best for their great lineup of haptic suits and now they seem to be ready for the next big step. They say their upcoming so-called uh, tact gloves are going to level up your gaming and social experience like you have never felt before for the price of $2.99 in US dollars per pair. So for your information, these uh, gloves make use of the headset's onboard uh, hand tracking capabilities and uh, has no force feedback, hence the reason why they are fairly cheap. All they really do is add uh, tactile vibrations to your fingers that react to the interactions you have in game similar to current consumer focused haptic suits including the one that B Haptics makes. Each fingertip has a motor built inside that individually or combined together lets you feel what you are touching or holding in your hands from well within VR. There's an additional motor on your wrist as well that gives the illusion that you can feel vibrations across your entire hand while in reality there is nothing going on in the middle of the gloves. Uh, they can be connected with uh, your headset's Bluetooth through the main control case that looks like some Something that came straight out of a Iron Man movie and next to that it comes in four different sizes from small to extra large. It has uh, three and a half hours of battery life, so that's quite decent. Can be charged or updated with a USB-C cable, comes with a mobile app and can be thrown into the washing machine. I guess it's worth mentioning too that this wasn't my first time trying haptic gloves. In the past, I got my hands on with uh, gloves that not only did haptics, but also force feedback and could be used for mocap from companies like SenseGlove and Dexta Robotics. So it's going to be interesting to find out if B Haptics their tact gloves are immersive enough with just tactile vibrations and not being able to track themselves nor being able to pull off force feedback. Based on my time with them on Gamescom, I can say that the gloves themselves were very comfy, uh, lightweight, fitted well around my fingers and didn't give me sweaty hands at all. It's very breathable and flexible material, so they get a big thumbs up from me on that point. But let's dive into the demos that I got to play, shall we? Because that's where the fun starts. I was fully equipped with a X40 suit, a tactile haptic face cover and of course the gloves too. The demos I played were running completely standard standalone on the quest without the need of a PC. Uh, tracking wise it was a bit well hit and miss since the gloves are completely black and dependent on the headset's tracking system. It was definitely noticeable that it struggled to accurately track all my uh, movements. So in demo 1 I got to play with myself. Yes, that's right, that's right. Let me explain, okay, let me explain. In front of me was a reflection of, well, me, in the form of a virtual avatar. I could feel each and every interaction I had with this avatar through my body, face and uh, hands. For example, I got to give myself a high five, touch uh, fingers, hold hands with my, let's say, well, clone and even tickle a little. So yeah, it's a super odd sensation that I can't really describe, but it's also a great demonstration of how immersive social interactions can become with the help of haptic technology. I even went a step further by, well, touching my own body. This reminded me a lot of that one dance club scene in Ready Player One. This can really bring people closer together in a loving or even sensual way. I think this is super cool and I can't wait to see where this is going to take us. Not only could I feel sensations on the front and the back of my uh, body, but also on my face by booping my nose and caressing my forehead and cheeks. Imagine someone else doing this that you, well, know and trust. It's going to make friend and relationships within the metaverse so much more personal. A few other things I could do in this demo were more gamified examples such as casting lightning spells at my own face, becoming a Velveteen, turning into Iron Man by shooting laser beams out of my hands and punching my clone in the face with a pair of boxing gloves. To set expectations, I could feel all of this 
but in a subtle way. It's not extremely detailed as you just only have six points of tactile vibrations, but the haptic suit and the face cover in combination with the gloves does kind of make up for that. Uh, but you can turn up the intensity of the haptics to the point where it starts to hurt, but you can definitely feel enough to think it's real, if that makes sense. Uh, I almost forgot to mention that as a bonus, they let me play with lightsabers too. And this was so funny because I could just pierce the saber through my own body, making all the equipment uh, buzz like crazy. I can 100% see why we want to integrate this stuff in more virtual worlds in the future, as it does make everything around you feel more alive and playful. Uh, for now, these gloves work with just a handful of titles, such as Unplugged, Cubism, Finger Gun, and Hand Physics Lab, the game I will be showing next, stay tuned. Um, but it's totally up to the developers to implement it into their apps. Uh, you do need to understand that this tech is still extremely new in an already niche market. I don't expect everyone to join in straight away, but I don't think it hurts to experiment with this tech to be ready for when it could go mainstream. And from a marketing perspective, it is kind of appealing to show gloves in combination with a game. Anyways, in the hand physics lab, I got a taster for what official support looks like. And it was nice to see that I could choose the haptics intensity in this one with a visualizer showing how the gloves would react to my tweaks. The lack of force feedback was painfully visible though, because you, you get to play with a lot of heavy physics based objects in this demo. I just wanted to feel their mass by having the gloves put pressure onto my fingers, but since there is no force feedback, it was hard to really enjoy this and make it feel real in my head with just the tactile vibrations. I personally think that these gloves do better in situations where you have to uh, touch something than when you have to hold an object, because in that case it relies too much on the hand tracking. Well, touching does go hand in hand with tactile vibrations, so force feedback is something that you do want to have in the future. But I do understand that if B Haptics would add this, then the price would go up significantly. Um, that doesn't take away that some of these mechanics uh, in combination with just the haptic feedback are going to be useful in the world of remote work, uh, product design, education, health, fitness, and more, yeah, uh, getting to use haptic gloves in mixed reality is going to open up so many doors. Okay. So let's talk about the last demo and this was a mix of all kinds of tables with different experiences starting with a desk that let me feel water coming out of a tap. It's really neat how you can experience the sensation of each drop landing on your finger and wrist. Once again it doesn't make you feel the weight but you do almost start to think you are getting uh, wet. Then I thought it was a good idea to put my fingers into a fire. The longer I held my hands in the flames, the more intense the haptics uh, became, signaling my brain that playing with fire is indeed dangerous. It's important to mention, uh, by the way, that throughout the demos, I did not experience any serious delays between the quest and the gloves. To me, it felt like everything happened in real time and that on a show floor like Gamescom. Anyhow, there was also a table in this demo with spiky, round and flat surfaces. The tactile motors tried to simulate these, well, sharp edges and these, you know, ball rounded shapes, but I wasn't overly impressed by this. It just didn't make me feel immersed or yeah, my imagination also wasn't taking over, it just didn't really work. The last thing I could uh, try in this demo was petting a virtual cat. Now, that was actually pretty immersive. Maybe its cuteness blinded me and made me imagine a lot of what I felt, but the fact it looked so low poly disappeared into the background and instantly made it feel more uh, real. And there you go, that was my very first hands-on with the tech gloves from B Haptics. And uh, I gotta say, it's nice to see that they plan to bring affordable haptic gloves to consumers. Uh, based on my time uh, with them, I can say that they do make some interactions more natural and realistic, but this does totally depend on the level of interaction. Sometimes it can feel so good to use these gloves and you're totally into it, your imagination kind of takes over a little bit as well, but other moments it just 
feels slightly gimmicky. So I wouldn't say you need haptic gloves like these for every game you want to play. Uh, but for more information, you can check out their website. This was based on my personal experience, so it could be that you have a total different perspective on these when you try them. That's why I would suggest if you can make it to a show floor where B Haptics is demoing them, go check it out because everyone is different in the VR scene and that makes this all so uh, unique. Uh, make sure to check out my other haptic uh, glove videos too if you haven't already. Um, those links are also in the description. And with that being said, until next time, see you in the metaphors and bye bye for now. Oh yeah.